Hello everybody and welcome to today's deck profile. I decided to do something a little bit different. Uh, since everyone likes goats, so I decided why not make a deck about goats. And subsequently sheep. So we're starting with mythical sheep number two, which is a monstrous sheep, which only makes it viable for us to play three, right? And since it's a normal monster, we have to play rescue rabbit. God damn it. I don't like playing it because it's a sheep goat goat sheep deck but well we have to then we have one of the best goats tangrisnir of the nordic beast it's a white goat with very illustrious horns it's amazing it gives us two tokens it's amazing and has illustrious horns next we have the mystical sheep number one which is just another sheep nothing important Afterwards, we have Tank Joster of the Nordic Beast, the black, sh the black goat, with amazing, amazing horns and two tails, which is very, very important, very important. Afterwards, we have Fluffle Sheep, which is another sheep. Well, it's not a goat, but close enough. Then we have Loonlight Black Sheep, which is here because it's a sheep and has another illustrious horns even three so that makes it extra special and extra amazing then we have performer pal rain goat which is technically not a goat but rain coat but it's a goat because it has horns and it's a goat so it stays afterwards we have scape ghost which is similar to scapegoat and it generates black sheep tokens, so it stays. If you perform our popper up, uh, which isn't that important, polymerization, one day of peace, part of desires, book of Tayo, obstruct goblin, foolish burial, monster reborn, scape goat, which is the best card of the best cards of the best. We have fire formation tail and key to search our black sheep. And we're going for the extra deck. Fright for a sheep. Two of. Digital back Corbege. Super Quantum Mech Beast Grand Pulse. Soul of Silver Mountain. Number 20 Giga Brilliant. The Arrival Cybers Attic Nister. Nightmare Package. Halky Fibrax. Cross Sheep. Which is also important. It's not a goat, but it has horns. Link Spider, some Link Rebos, and Salman Great Down Mirage. This deck is very, very goat. It's the goatest deck of the goats. It's so good, it's actually bad in goat format. This is, it's so good. It's just so good. I'll, just, I'll show you. I'll show you how good this deck actually is. So we're starting with the first replay. We're playing against a Ra deck. Of the Winged Dragon of Ra. So, my opponent just sets a card, doesn't matter. Let's go with some quick upstart goblin, draw some cards, summon fright for a sheep, which is not a goat, but similar enough. Attack, the opponent just summons metal reflect slime, activates some stuff, ancient chant, doesn't matter. Summons Egyptian god slime, and quits. He knows, he knows he cannot win against goats, because this deck is so OP! Next we have Noble Knights, and just look how good this deck is, this deck just wins, just wins. The sheer existence of this deck makes the opponent scoop and run. This deck is so powerful. And the final duel for this video, the duel against Witchcrafts. So just watch, just watch how the power, the sheer power of goats and sheep destroys the meta. Just activated black sheep, go tanky, the opponent just ends, runs away in fear. Once again, this is the best deck of the format. This is definitely tier zero. Goats for the win. This, is, this deck is so good that it's actually bad in the goat format. Let me show you. Let me show you. Almost every card except Book of Tayo. Pretty much every card in the deck is banned in gold format. That's how good this deck is. That's just how good it is. Anyway, 
Thank you very much for watching and see you next time. Bye.